I've mentioned in a few videos recently the popularity of no-code analytics. Today, let's look at the top five data analyst tools for non-programmers. If you're new here, I'm Jen, an analyst with 15 years of experience. Now I work as a consultant and teach other people how to build their analytics skills and careers. All of the tools I'll talk about today can be used completely no code. That is no knowledge of programming, no need to learn a language whatsoever to be able to use those tools to really do robust analysis. However, as with most no code tools, all of the tools I'll talk about today also can be enhanced if you do know how to code by allowing you to add code snippets in to either make the work easier, to add more complexity um, or nuance to the analysis that you're doing. Most people think of data analysts and data scientist roles as programmer adjacent roles. That is, we think of tools like Python as the central tenant of what a data analyst needs to know. But increasingly, there's a popularity of no-code tools that mean you don't always need to know a programming language to be in one of these roles. I'll link to a video that talks a lot more about that. Today, let's focus on these no-code tools and look at five data analyst tools for non-programmers. Number one, Tableau. It's probably not a surprise to see Tableau show up on this list. For most people that are thinking of no-code tools, they're immediately going to think of data visualization tools like Tableau that allow you to interact with your data, perform analysis in a very interactive environment without knowing how to code. And yet Tableau can also be supplemented with code snippets to enhance the capabilities. You can conduct analysis quickly and you can get great visualizations as a result to communicate your findings and create interactive dashboards for others in the organization to use. Tableau is also a quick software to learn, at least to get a good fundamental understanding and functioning knowledge of. I'll link to a Tableau training down in the description if you want to get up to speed on it really fast. The second tool for non-programmers that want to get into analytics or want to expand their use of analytics is Power BI. Power BI has a lot of the same justifications as Tableau for being on this list. You can create great analysis and great visualization quickly. Like Tableau, you can expand your use of Power BI with knowledge of a programming language, but it's not necessary. However, if you want to use programming knowledge that you have, or you want to start learning a little bit about programming, you can insert Python and R scripts within Power BI or write DAX functions. Tool number three is Alterx. Alterx uses a drag and drop workflow that lets you import data, clean your data, prep your data, and analyze your data without needing any code. Connecting to data is easy with many different connection types available. Performing different actions is simple to do using the ribbon interface at the top of the application. This will look and feel very familiar for users of Microsoft Excel or any other Office applications. You can see on your screen now Alterx functioning to bring in data to perform some basic analysis using this ribbon formatting. It's easy to do, it's clickable, things are fairly quick to work with, and the code is all behind the scenes. So you're not needing to actually code to perform these different actions. You are just instructing through the interface what should happen what columns should be selected, how should joins be made within your data, what analysis should be performed, what do you want the output to look like, what visualizations do you want as a result. Tool number four is SAS. One of the reasons I mentioned in my video, four reasons to learn SAS, is that it allows for varied levels of programming knowledge. Similar to Alterx, SAS has some interfaces like SAS Enterprise Guide or SAS Via, which let you work in this drag and drop mode where you can add code pieces if you want, but it's not necessary. You can instead perform your analysis entirely through clicks, dragging new data sources in or selecting them through the interface, selecting what you want your joins to be, selecting which columns of information, what analysis you're going to do, 
all without having to write any code. SAS VIA even lets you perform machine learning without having to do any coding, which is pretty interesting to do. As with all the other tools I've mentioned so far, SAS also lets you add in different code snippets that enhance the capabilities. Some SAS applications do require coding knowledge to use, and all of them can be enhanced by knowing how to code. The fifth tool on this list of the top five data analyst tools for non-programmers is IBM Watson Studio. IBM Watson Studio is a powerful code optional data science platform. Most of their marketing is focused on creating, training, and deploying machine learning models without any code. However, it can be used for any level of data analysis, not just machine learning models. You'll see on the screen that IBM Watson Studio is easy to use through interactive elements. The layout is slightly more code forward than the other platforms we've talked about in that by default your view is a place to add code snippets, but doing your analysis with no code is easy as clicking the button just to the left of where to put your code snippet and selecting what analysis or, or what action that you want to take from that. Each of these five data analytics tools for non-programmers is relatively quick to learn, especially when you compare it to the time involved in learning a programming knowledge to the point of even basic competency. They give you lots of flexibility and lots of options for building complex analyses and great visualizations from your work without ever having to type a single line of code. They do have their differences, they have differences in what their focus is, but at the heart, they're really allowing for the same thing. People without a coding proficiency, without a deep programming knowledge, to perform a similar set of analytics, perform analysis that's incredibly useful in a business setting without having to build those skills first. And they also open themselves up so that if you do want to add in coding knowledge that you already have or you want to learn to code, that's an easy thing to supplement in any of these applications we just talked about. Do you have a favorite no-code or low-code tool that I left out? Let me know down in the comments. These five are by far not the only ones that are out there. There's dozens, if not hundreds of different options right now, but these are five that are more mainstream options commonly used that if I were going to start a no-code analytics career or building my skills in a no-code direction more than what I currently have, these are the five areas where I would choose to focus. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.